Good morning, everybody. This is Reggie with Hearn is Hauling. We're back again, bringing you some good quality content. This morning, we have Philip A. Herndon. He is the owner of Herndon's Hauling, and I'm a driver, but I'm conducting this interview this morning because I wanted to give everybody a little bit more insight on the man behind the myth and the man behind the company. He's a phenomenal owner, great friend. His family is a part of my family, and everybody here is one family. Mr. Herndon, how are you this morning? I'm doing great, Reggie. Thank you for that. That was very nice. Good, 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 good. Any few words you want to say to the fans of Herndon's Hauling before we get started this morning? Yes, uh, I just uh, appreciate all y'all watching our channel and please like and subscribe to our channel. It's going to be a lot of uh, natural videos and stuff that we truly made for you guys. And we're just the old normal blow joes out here. I'm just showing you really trucking and what we do and what it takes to run a trucking business. And I think you'll really enjoy our content. All right. First of all, we want to start by when did you get started in the business? So my father-in-law has been in trucking for about 50 years and uh, he got us started in trucking in 2011 is when we began the trucking business. Right, right. Why did you decide to become a business owner? Well, being a firefighter, um, we only work 10 days a month, and normally all firefighters, uh, we work a second job. And so I would always had being an entrepreneur in my blood, and um, I actually didn't start out in the trucking game. I started out um, cutting grass, and cutting grass led to uh, firewood, and firewood led to grading, and grading led to getting a small dump truck, and then a small dump truck turned into a big dump truck and then a couple dump trucks and then semis. And so we just slowly crawled to the trucking world. And, um, but Audi is really the reason for getting us in the oh, truck. Okay. So basically you just started off as just one of the guys that's just trying to get his grind on. That's right. All right. Sounds good. What was your mission at the start of the company? Well, in the beginning, we was just trying to make a living. Right. It was just us. There wasn't a whole bunch of trucks. It wasn't a whole bunch of employees. It wasn't nobody in the office. It was, it was just me and Audi. No. <laughs> and we was out there just literally just trying to make uh, uh, some side money, you know, in the beginning. <clears throat> and then, you know, we just had better opportunities and um, the good Lord's just truly blessed us. Awesome. Way. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we're going to get a little bit into the crux of the business yeah. and um, ask a few questions about it. How many employees do you have right now? So right now we've got eight. We've got six drivers and we've got um, my mother and my wife are in the office. And um, my wife is a 51% owner of the yeah. company. So she manages all of it from the office and um, does the bidding. And, and then me, I am kind of over the the field i make sure that if there's problems or vendors i'll take them to lunch and meet with them and if they have any needs and uh we translate all that back to mr reggie and he is our <laughs> fleet manager and then he takes care of all the guys good good all right what services or products do you guys offer so our main products are going to be uh in the agricultural business is hauling uh rock or sand um but we'll haul anything that'll go and end up. <laughs> but uh, that's what we mainly go after is um, moving a uh, bolt rock. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also in the flatbed business and we haul a lot of block for Cherokee brick out right. of Macon, Georgia. Um, but again, we'll do anything that'll go on a flatbed. We'll, we'll help you out if anything you need. Good, 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 good. How do you guys advertise the business? Well, in the beginning, it was just word of mouth. Mm -hmm. We really didn't have the money to push out any advertisement. But as along the way, we started doing Facebook and YouTube right. and um, TikTok. And now um, we do um, Reporter where we live and all the social media platforms and and just kind of put it out there on those mainstreams. Oh, absolutely. What made you choose the location of the company? Well, it all began in South Georgia, our right. hometown. Right. That's where we're from. And um, all of our loads were kind of around for Scythe. So we had a home base out of there. And, and as we started getting more business in South uh, Georgia, so we kind of migrated to Macon 
Um, and that's where our parking is. Our home base is still out of sight, Georgia. Right, right. But uh, we have a location in Macon where we park all of our equipment. Good, good, good. So what are the goals of the company? Well, the goals is uh, to grow and be a Fortune 500 company one day. Absolutely. Um, but, you know, you got to crawl before you walk. That's right. Walk before you run. That's right. Run before you sprint. So yeah. we're just going day by day and um, trying to, our main goal is just to treat the customer as best as we can and take care of the employees and just grow slowly. A good slow growth is the best growth you can do. Tell this is something a little bit off script. Yeah. Tell us a little something yeah. uh, about the fishing trips that yeah. Hernan Holland takes his yeah. uh, employees on. So um, we have a good agent, Adam yeah. English. Yes. Uh, he last year he took us all out sixty miles out of Panama City, and uh, we had a great time. On. Great time. <laughs> Caught a lot of fishing, but we're about to go on another one. Yes. And. One of my dreams has always been to take all the employees. Um, and I think we're going to make that come true this year. Um, we're going to take everybody about 30, 40 miles out on uh, one of Adam's boats. And yes, we're going to all really get to enjoy it. Big boats. Big boats. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So what's unique about the company? So I just feel like if you want to separate yourself from the pack, you got to be better than the pack. And I'm not trying to say that anybody's better than anybody else, but we live by a different creed here. Yes. I mean, you're going to be professional. You're going to look the part. You're going to act the part. Yes, sir. Yes, no, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. That's please. right. Um, That's how we were raised. <laughs> That's how we was raised. Right. And when you do that, you're going to set yourself apart. And, you know, just like when we had our first meeting with That's right. uh, some vendors, the first, the before we even started, they stopped and said, man, y'all are the part. Yes. And then after that, he said, y'all don't just look it. Y'all are legit. Yeah. A sincere That's company. right. So just living by that and, and not changing for nobody and and not letting anybody change you is the kicker. Because if you give an inch, people will take a mile. All right. Well, I got one last question. It's yeah. been a great talking to you, Philip. How would you describe your company's success so far? Um, I think it's great. Yeah. Uh we talk about it all the time. Yeah. Um in the beginning we um you know had one truck, it was a nineteen eighty Peterbilt. Right. And we've got five brand new twenty twenty three Peterbilt. Absolutely. So that speaks for itself and all new equipment as far as trailers. Um and and you know, success ain't always measured in money. You know it's su- success is measured in just whatever you believe success is. And I think that, you know, we're doing great. We got good cash flow and we got some phenomenal employees. And not only are we uh, doing great work, but we're helping uh, people's families. We got some drivers that's got five and six kids and we're, we're all those are part of us and we're helping all them. Yes. And to me, that makes me more satisfied than any amount of money. Um, taking trips and blessing them yes, and letting them absolutely. see the enjoyment in their life. And so just all of it in a whole realm is just family to me. And it's the first thing that I tell all y'all is when you come is when you become part of Hunter Holland. That's right. You become a part family. of my family. That's right. And we certainly do. So, well, guys, we just wanted to tell Mr. Hernan that right. we uh, enjoyed his time. We're here at his job, right. his primary job. Uh, but I wanted to take the time to, so you guys can personally get to know him and where he works. This man is always hustling. Uh, even when he's here and not putting out fires or rescuing one of us or our loved ones, uh, he's still trying to figure out to make this company better. And I just want to appreciate you. Yes, sir. And tell you thank you. And we're signing off. Please stay tuned, subscribe, like, refer to all social media, your friends. Uh, it's going to be a great channel. We're just getting started, but uh, we're going to sign off and we'll see you the next go round. Thank you and God bless.